as usual, I'd ask you to take a nice a full breath in. And nice sigh. Ah, just feel that relief. Eyes opening. So good morning. My name is Drake, and this is Touching the Edge. And this is the 40-day practice and invitation to genius. Thank you so much for joining me today because I know that your inspiration inspires me and, and my inspiration will inspire you. And you know, our inspiration will inspire each other. It's how we all lift and support each other. You know, uh, you know, one of the framings today that I'd like to bring forth is that in the focus of the invitation to genius is the realization that that invitation is also genius's invitation to you. The invitation to genius is also genius's invitation to us. You know, the two things are one and the same. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's, a, it's a priming of the pump. You know, as you open yourself to genius, as genius flows through you, you become that. You know, it's, you, you become that flow that comes through you. And incidentally, it's not only true of genius. You know, you can have an invitation to lots of different energetic states. You can have a, a, an invitation to anger and resentment. You know, and that invitation to anger and resentment, as it flows through you, you will become that. You will identify that as your essential self. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a little different, though, because we can keep that sort of almost perpetually, this, this feeling of anger and resentment. You know, people who are really, really committed to anger... They wake up in the middle of the night ready to go. They're ready to be angry right then, right as soon as they wake up. It's like someone who smokes so many cigarettes that they wake up to smoke. You know, this is the situation with the invitation to anger and the invitation towards intolerance. Genius is different, though, because we can't, we can't keep it as, we can't keep it captive the way that hatred can keep us captive. You know, you know genius is different. Genius is something that we have to keep working to open that invitation to and, and sit in patience as it comes. Infinite patience brings about immediate results. Infinite patience brings about immediate results. So that's the relationship to genius. We have to, we have to bring this sort of contradiction. We have to come with great urgency and then be patient. We have to slow down to speed up. In the schools of crazy wisdom, you know, in, in, in Taoism and in Sufism, you, know, you, you have these great teachers who are, are you know, almost seem to do nonsensical things, but they end up waking us up. And if you, if you work with me any length of time, you'll notice that oftentimes the statements I make seem absolutely contradictory. This is part of the nature of human consciousness. We don't deal well with contradiction. The truth is, however, that opposites can be true. And so that is that moment when we need genius, you know, when we feel like there is no way out. So by accessing it, by creating that relationship to genius, by continuing to check the landmarks of what that means for us in the day and that we are on point towards it, we begin to prime that pump and then all of a sudden we open ourselves and it begins to flow through us. We find genius by deep listening, not by always needing to speak. Because when we find genius, it will have us saying the thing that is right for the moment or being silent if that is right for the moment. So day two of the 40-day practice, the invitation to genius is to realize that genius is inviting you today. It's always in the present. Every moment of your life, it's there, waiting for you to access it. So thank you for being part of the joy I'm feeling here today. Thank you for considering boldness. You know, you know, one last element I'd like to leave with you is that one of the another of the elements of genius flowing through us is is it's it's almost a mini death. You know, you it's the light bulb that comes open. Suddenly it flashes. You know, when you turn a light switch on, the it, the room is dark, and then all of a sudden it becomes light. The light doesn't spread out; it just becomes light. The room is dark; it becomes light. This is the relationship to genius. When it flows through us, we're in darkness. We have no idea what we're going to do. And all of a sudden, light. And we suddenly know it's obvious what to do. So accept the invitation to genius today. Accept the invitation from genius today. You know, this, this sort of mini death I'm talking about is really the ultimate birth while we're alive. When genius comes through us, we have the opportunity to let go of what we thought was impossible. 
the opening to genius is also the opening to celebrating life as you are, as it is today. I bring my hands into prayer position. I bow to you, my dear, dear friend. Namaste. Have a great day and let's build towards this. And remember, this first week, build slowly. Just get a sense of what you're looking for and, 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 and write down how much you do what you do to move towards genius. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon.